Brandon Wainwright. I'm the director of a medical research institute in Australia. I have uh, been working in cystic fibrosis area for a long time. I was part of the team that uh, looked at the genetic uh, basis of CF, starting at St Mary's Hospital in 1984. So gene therapy is, uh, just simply put, is trying to use genes as a drug in the way that we would take a pill, a drug, and try to swallow it. And, and to try to fix our problem. This is just really using a gene as a drug, so we're not trying to make super people uh, or to change the future generations. What we're trying to do is to uh, locally deliver a gene so it fixes the problem, in this case, the lungs and cystic fibrosis. So the gene therapy trial, uh, the UK Cystic Fibrosis Gene Therapy Consortium, is unusual in the world in that for the first time it uses large numbers of patients uh, and it's designed to get an answer, to say using the technology that we have now and deliver it in a way that we'll get an answer, yes gene therapy does work or no it doesn't. And that will be a world first. This will be the largest gene therapy trial, or it is the largest gene therapy trial of any sort for any disease. Successful gene therapy is, I mean the ultimately successful gene therapy is going to be somebody who um, somebody who, who gets better with time. And I, but I think in practice we're unlikely to be able to correct uh, or fix damage that's already done. Uh, but what I think we'll be able to do is, is to stop existing damage uh, from getting any worse and preventing um, healthy tissue from becoming diseased. So I think that having achieved that we'll see a large extension in the quality uh, and length of lives of people with cystic fibrosis. We have the, the Wave 1 trial, which is going on here, is uh, using liposome-mediated product, uh, and that's proving to be uh, safe and, and potentially effective, so we're very excited about that. Uh, going forward, the Wave 2 is possibly looking at a viral-based approach. The problem with viruses in the past, and why really nothing much has happened since the mid-90s in viruses, is that they've been impossible or proved to be difficult to give more than one time. And so for regular therapy, they prove to be difficult. But I think we've seen changes in, in technology recently, which suggest that uh, in the next wave, uh, we might be seeing the use of a virus-based approach. I think that gene therapy is still obviously an experimental approach to treating disease. Uh, and at the moment, at least, many pharmaceutical companies are probably not convinced that, uh, that this is an area in CF that they want to pursue. Uh, because of expense and perhaps they don't feel as though they'll make the, the money they might. And so somebody's got to try to fund this. So the trust has stepped into this and has funded a gene therapy trial. Uh, in effect, the people of the UK, uh, by raising the money and the trust, are buying their own cure.